The Aleutian Islands are a remote chain of 14 large volcanic islands and 55 smaller islands that span about 1,200 miles westward from the Alaska Peninsula to the Kamchatka Peninsula in Russia. This savage, untamed land with active volcanoes, jagged coastlines, and harsh climate is not for the faint of heart, but for the brave souls that dare wander into this wild wonderland. The rewards are unquestionably worth it. For the islands closer to Alaska, the distance between each island is usually measured in the dozens of miles, but as you press further and further from the mainland, you begin to measure distance between islands by the hundreds of miles, with many of them being completely uninhabited. By the time you get to the westernmost American island, Attu, you're nearly 1100 miles from the Alaskan mainland, and 445 miles from Adak, the nearest town. As a matter of fact, Attu Island is actually closer to Moscow than Washington DC. But physical distance is not the only thing that makes the Aleutian Islands such a wild, isolated place. Part of the solitude and remoteness of this place comes due to the transportation logistics. If you're traveling to the Aleutians, particularly those furthest away from Alaska, you're in for a wild, unpredictable ride. Whether you're getting there by boat, plane, or a combination of both, Expect the trip to take days or even weeks, assuming the weather cooperates. In addition, this archipelago's climate is known for high winds, heavy precipitation, and almost constant fog. In this area, winds can sometimes reach 120 miles per hour, with enough strength to launch a dumpster into the air and send it crashing down the road like a tumbleweed. With this kind of weather, it's not uncommon to get trapped on one of the layovers between destinations due to inclement weather, and you may have to wait for days for conditions to improve. Thus, the Aleutians can be one of the most isolated, inaccessible, and unpredictable regions in the country. So, what is it that draws individuals way out here? For one, this place has an amazing history, and remnants of its stories can still be found strewn all over the vast, majestic wilderness of the Aleutians. The Aleutian Islands were historically occupied by the Onanga, more commonly known now as the Aleuts, who would use the islands as a hunting and fishing ground. However, the outbreak of World War II brought about dramatic change for everyone in the region. The Japanese occupied the islands of Attu and Kiska and took anyone they found to Japan as prisoners. The US Army responded by setting up a military base in Adak to use as a staging ground in their attempts to dislodge Japanese forces from the Northern Pacific. At the height of the war, more than 100,000 American and Canadian soldiers were stationed in Alaska, many of them in the Aleutians. Meanwhile, the Japanese had thousands of their own troops stationed on Attu and Kiska Islands, and they built formidable defenses to support their war effort. Even today, the ruins of many of these still cover the landscape of the islands they occupied, and there are extremely well-preserved artifacts to be found all over the region. These include an intact submarine base at Kiska Island, which contains the remnants of several Type A midget submarines. This 47-ton submarine could fit a crew of only two soldiers that worked in claustrophobic conditions, and it was fully battery-powered. At a top speed of 19 knots, these subs were fast, but had a very short range of operation due to their limited battery power. Not far from the submarine base, you can still find pillboxes and underground bunkers relatively intact, as well as the foundations of the massive building complex that was used to house the Japanese soldiers here. In addition to these and other abandoned military installations, multiple shipwrecks lie strewn about the coasts of these islands, a testament to a war in which each side had to fight not only against each other, but against the islands themselves, with their harsh terrain and unforgiving weather. One example of this is located on Atka Island, which contains the remains of a B-24 Liberator that was forced to crash land here on December 9th of 1942 due to very poor weather. This wreck is one of only eight surviving D-model Liberators left in existence today. Indeed, for the explorer brave enough to weather the journey, a treasure trove of historical artifacts awaits. However, it's impossible to visit these historical sites without also being captivated by the beauty of the natural landscape here. On the Aleutian Islands, you'll find everything from active volcanoes and jagged coastlines to lush green tundra dotted with summer wildflowers and carpeted with grasses, sedges, mosses, lichens, and heath. The wildlife here includes the endangered stellar sea lion, the threatened northern sea otter, harbor seals, foxes, reindeer, and caribou, as well as several species of fish and at least 369 bird species, making it a paradise for bird watchers and nature lovers alike. 
These creatures live in a relatively clean, unpolluted environment, thanks in part to the isolation and difficult access to many of these islands. Truly, there is no place in the world quite like the Aleutian Islands, where those wild at heart can escape the confines of civilization and visit a place where time has no meaning. In this isolated, otherworldly kingdom, outside events mean nothing, and survival means everything. For those willing to escape the clutches of the civilized world, brave the fury of the elements, and fight for survival at every turn, the reward is freedom. Thank you so much for joining me on this adventure. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Beyond Civilization, if you're enjoying my content, as well as clicking on the notification bell to be notified of any future videos that I produce. I'll see you on the next one.